So, No Game, No Life, episode one. Um, pretty much the anime kind of just starts off with this chat log of some people who are losing on an MMORPG, and there's this queen who's fighting these four people using, like, super spells, and she eventually just gets stomped. And then we get some, like, oh, have you ever heard the urban legend of these four people who just can't be beat? They don't even have names. They're just named, like, Blink, so they've been known as that, and they can't be stopped. So, I guess the four people she fought were those guys that are like, oh, they had to be cheaters. And she's like, well, technically we cheated, too, because I had, like, mana hacks, and they were super recharging, and they still kick my ass. So, yeah, and she's super interested in them or whatever. But we get revealed that it's actually just these two siblings. So, it's this brother named... Um, Sora and his sister named Shira and they pretty much just hang out they're super neat they just don't leave the house or Nihikamori's or whatever the fuck it's called again but yeah so eventually they get a random email and they're like oh hey it might be one of our friends <laughs> we don't have friends so they check the email the email is like some dude saying hey you siblings have you ever felt you were born in the wrong world and they're like whoa someone knows it's us but yeah so they continue on they get a challenge to chess and i guess the girl shiro is really good at chess and she's like oh it's like tic-tac-toe so she plays but the opponent makes like a weird move and the brother comes in and he's all like we'll work together to beat them because it's an actual person they'll make dumb moves they're gonna try to freak you out but they can't beat us because together we're blank and i guess a lot of time passes or whatever and they win so then the person gives them another email and tells them like, oh, hey, have would you like to be in a like world where it's all decided by games? Like, haven't you ever realized like this world is kind of crappy or the world that you're in? Like you make good choices or you make bad choices and there's penalties like if you're too good or you're too bad or whatever, all that crap. And these two already, I guess, have some issue with the world like they mentioned something about urban legends and it's because the world is dull or some crap. But yeah. So eventually they just kind of accept. They're like, yeah, another world would be fun. And now the room turns into darkness and hands come out from their computer screen and pull them in. And now they're falling to some like random LSD trip planet. And while they're falling, some random little kid with like weird eyes and a bunch of like colorful designs or whatever shows up. And he's like, hey, I'm like the god of games. And these are like the 10 amendments of the game world. Um, Don't kill people. It's not right. Uh, Don't get caught cheating. Don't fucking, I don't know. Everything has to be gambled in cards and it has to be like equal balance or whatever and agreed upon. So, yeah. And he's like, good luck, have fun in the game world. And he, like, bails on them. So they fall, and they hit the planet, but I guess there's, like, a barrier. They can't die or some shit. So, yeah. And they're also like, well, we're fucked because the world finally bugged out. And this world is, like, a shitty video game. Then we get a little history lesson about, like, what happened. I guess there were gods. They fought. Everyone fought except for one god. The gods that fought kind of, like, fucked themselves over. So the one god that was left was like, fuck you guys. I'm going to rule this, and I'm the god of games, so it's going to be, like, a game world. So, yeah. So, anyway... We also find some naked people because I guess they beat them at some game and they took all their shit and they're like, oh, well, I guess we couldn't get robbed. So the rules must really apply. They also go to a city. They need some money. They find some red haired girl on a table who's like losing at card games and they go to some blonde girl who explains that that girl, I guess, is the granddaughter of the previous king and they're going to do like a new succession of the throne. And the king said he wants someone who's lucky or they have to win at a card game or some shit and she kind of sucks at the game but she has to get good or else she's not gonna become like the next queen or whatever and she's facing some other person who's like really really good or some shit like that anyway blonde girl has money they want money they play a game with her and it kind of goes into one of those like silly card game Yu-Gi-Oh! like oh my god what a fantastic move oh you'll never beat me heart of the cards blah 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 and he gets a straight royal flush and she spazzes out over it like straight royal flush whoa impossible light uh and yeah so she loses gives her money the little sister also mentions like uh there was cheating involved in that match but the brother's like oh read the rules it actually says getting caught cheating is bad but like if you don't get caught it's perfectly fine so yeah so they continue on they eventually see the red haired girl is still like losing at the card game and the little sister says like i can scan with my superpowers and realize that she's cheating but i can't figure out how she's cheating so the older brother i guess looks at some other person and this other girl who has like weird eyes even though everyone already has really weird eyes and colors and shit in the show but apparently she has specifically weird eyes and i guess that's some form of cheating so he walks by the red hair girl and tells her they're cheating or she's cheating or some shit and the red hair girl like spazzes out or whatever but he just goes on goes to his room and yeah so in his room they check like oh we have a psp we have cell phones and we just happen to bring a solar panel charger or some shit like that so we're gonna use that so yeah and i guess they just kind of like go to sleep 
and that's pretty much it and a little after there's a scene that i guess it's nighttime and everything's blue now since everything has like a weird red glow or outlines or whatever but i guess at night it's probably like a bluish purple but yeah there's the red haired girl outside the room and she's naked except for like a blanket and she's like can i come in and that's pretty much it so other than that that is seems all right i'm pretty sure i'm already gonna like it i usually give the three episode rule but i already got good enough on episode one i like the designs everything's colorful everything's vibrant it's like an lsd trip but whatever so i'm interested fuck it um so if you like the video like it if you want more subscribe and yeah thanks for watching later